Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to A Bite of Brownie. Today we're tackling the mental health issue. Do we need mental health days or is it all a bunch of hoopla? We're also gonna dip our toe into some of the concepts and philosophies behind mental health and the tie between spiritual and not. We're at church here today and I think Sunday, Monday for you, but Sunday for us is a great day to tackle this topic. What better day than the day of rest? What better day than God's day, the Lord's day, to meet with a council of believers to get your head right and your heart right? Let's go in. I want to ask my guys a question. 30 seconds or less, 30 seconds or less, what is your take on mental health days? Mental health days? 30 okay. seconds or less. Uh, well, um, I don't know. I've tried them, they don't seem to work out very well, but some people like them, so. I don't take them because taking days off of work would put more work on the people that I work with, and I can't bring myself to do that, so that's bad for their mental and physical health to have to compensate for what I'm not there doing. Mental health day. I don't know if I have good things to say. Kind of what Shane said almost, it's like, if I take a day off of work for my mental health, that'll put more strain on my mental health at the end of the week whenever my paycheck is lower for some reason. Like, I don't, you said they should pay you yeah, for it? My, bo my boss should pay me. For, pay you for a mental health? Yeah. Thing? No, sir. <laughs> That's his boss. Yeah. No, sir. Sorry. My personal opinion is I think they're a bit ridiculous. I think that's what weekends are for, right? You relax, you clock out mentally from whatever's going on at work. I own a business and I have a mental health day. It's called Sunday, where I go to church and then I go hang out with my family and I de-stress. So. All right, there's the guy's perspective. Let's go get the girl's perspective real quick. What are your opinions on, can I even see you over here? I can't, come here. What is your opinion on mental health days? First off, I feel like this camera's a little close. It is? Right? It feels okay. like it's getting your breeze. <laughs> okay, mental health days. Well, I feel like there are, the only thing I could think of that would be a valid mental health day might be if you have someone like pass away. Maybe that's bereavement days. I feel like mental health days are not a thing. I'm a fan of mental health days. <laughs> because I feel like it is biblical to take a day and rest and recharge and restore and maybe you've been working seven days a week or you're really tired or you're really exhausted or really overwhelmed and you just need a day to like unwind and rest and seek the Lord. Um, Jared takes mental health days. Jared takes mental health weeks. I specifically remember a week in the desert with his boyfriends. My boyfriends, okay, boyfriends means his friends that are boys. Are right, you done, get out of the chair. <laughs> get out of the chair, next. No, really though, like, Sundays are my mental health days. I come to church for my sanity. However these people choose to interpret it is how they interpret it, just ask them the question. Personally, yes. For me, I I take mental health days. Sometimes, no fat. I take a week where I just, I will focus on me and what God wants me to either work on that I've been putting off and reconnect with him. That way I can be better in community. So yes, I say to mental health days. Okay. So mental health day. Don't know that I would consider it a mental health day, but sometimes you need a break. So, you know, for your sanity as well as everybody else's health. <laughs> We're not gonna cancel what Daniele said before this. We're gonna do it again. I just- Cause she's special and she needs to, Go ahead. I just found my words after I left. Okay, the reason that I feel the way I feel about mental health days, which is I feel they're a little silly. Although I'm four <laughs> sabbaticals, I'm four days of rest, but when you call into work because you just can't today, it's like, it's not about you. It's about Jesus, and when your focus is on Jesus, he brings the rest, he brings the peace that you need for your mind. And yes, there are days that you need to take to rest and things, but I feel like when you're calling into work and taking off time out of your week and putting your responsibilities on other people because you need rest, you can have rest right there. It's just a prayer away. You just ask and he brings. That's how I feel. The end. <laughs> There you go. There's a, there's, I like it. There is a consensus. You have the male perspective, you have the female perspective, and uh, I guess you guys get to decide. What do you think? That was a perspective from our church family. I was really hoping to get uh, Pastor David, Pastor Jim, some of our elders' opinions on the subject as well, but they had already left church by the time we started filming again, and so we missed out on that. But uh, my perspective would be the same as these guys. 
Uh, I think mental health is a very worthy endeavor. I think we need to be paying attention to our overall mental, spiritual, emotional, you know, health of things. I think that is vital. From a Christian perspective, I think God built in a day of the week for us to have a little bit of mental health. For us not to focus necessarily on ourselves, but to focus on Him mm. and have ourselves put Preach. into have ourselves put into alignment with Him. That's my opinion. I think He's already developed it. He's already designed it. I think we're best when we lose ourselves. I think we have the most sanity. I think that's it. Let's head on over to Joshua's channel, find out what the question for the day is today, and come back here tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, where we're going to try and answer that question. Anything you got? We're out. Shh. Shh. There we go. Ha, 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 ha.